stars above and sang to a small guitar oh lovely pussy oh pussy my love what a beautiful pussy you are you are you are what a beautiful pussy you are pussy said to the owl you elegant fowl how charmingly sweet you sing oh let us be married too long we have tarried but what shall we do for a ring they sailed away for a year and a day. To the land where the bong tree grows. And there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his <laughs> nose, his nose, his nose. With a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring? said the piggy. I will. So they took it away and were married the next day by the turkey who lives that on the hill. They dined on mints and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand, on the edge of the flag, they danced by the light of the moon. His face you could not see on account of his beaver hat, for his hat was a hundred and two feet wide, with ribbons and bibbers on every side, and bells and buttons and loops and legs, so that nobody ev ever could see the face of the Quangu Wangu Queen. The Quangu Wangu said to himself on the crumpety tree, Jam and jelly and bread are the best food for me. But the longer I live on this crumpety tree, the plainer than ever it seems to me. That very few people come this way, and that life on the whole is far from gay, said the Quangle Wangle Queen. But they came to the crumpety tree, Mr. and Mrs. Canary, and they said, Did you ever see any spot so charmingly airy? May we build a nest on your lovely hat, Mr. Quangle Wangle Grant us that. Oh, please let us come and build a nest of whatever material suits you best, Mr. Quangle Wangle Queen. And besides, to the crumpety tree came the stork, the duck and the owl, the snail and the bumblebee. <laughs> The frog and the thimble fowl. The thimble fowl with a corkscrew leg, and all of them said, We humbly beg, we may build our homes on your lovely hat, Mr. Quangle Wangle, grant us that, Mr. Quangle Wangle Queen. As the golden grouse came there, as the probably has no toes. And the small Olympian bear, and the dong with the luminous snout, and the blue baboon who plays the flute, and the orient calf from the land of Toot, and the artery squash, and the whiskey bat, all came and built on the lovely hat, 
of the Kwangu Wangu Creek. And the Kwangu Wangu said to himself on the crumpety tree, when all these creatures knew, what a wonderful noise they'll be. And at night, by the light of the mulberry moon, they danced to the flute of the blue baboon. On the broad green leaves of the crumpety tree, all were as happy as happy could be with the Kwangu Wangu Queen.